Back in Washington, as the House impeachment inquiry chugs along, Trump and his people have been working around the clock to distract the nation. First came Trump with his endless tweet storm, including this gem trying to discredit what he calls the lamestream media because he, quote, used the word little, not little, in describing corrupt Congressman little Adam Schiff. Low rating CNN purposely took the hyphen out and said he spelled the word little wrong. A hyphen was the problem. But apparently that wasn't enough to get everyone off track. So Trump sent his minions to defend him on TV. But what they didn't count on was getting fact-checked in real time. Like with this exchange between Ohio Congressman Jim Jordan and Jake Tapper. The president is calling for Ukraine to investigate his rivals. Jake, you're missing the fundamental point here. I'm not missing Democrats, anything. I think that you came here and leveled a bunch of accusations and allegations about, I didn't level about, I about Hunter facts. Biden. I didn't level. I just said the facts. He, did he it get paid not, 50000 a month? He was paid by a foreign company. Yeah. He was paid by Burisma. But Joe Biden was trying to get a, a, a prosecutor who was not pursuing corruption fired. And it was it's supported. It's amazing the it was gymnastics su- you guys will go through to defend what the, you Sir, really it's think not the vice president. It's vice facts. President, I'm just talking about this specific case. That there's been reporting on, and the facts of that specific case are what he was paid per month, $50,000. The vice president's son, he got hired for what? The president's daughter right now is having all sorts of copyrights uh, granted in foreign countries. That doesn't alarm you. The president's sons are doing all sorts of business all over the world. That doesn't alarm you. It's not gymnastics. It's facts. Love that. And when Trump advisor Stephen Miller took the deny, deny, deny route on Trump's favorite network, Chris Wallace didn't cut him any slack either. Enough with the rhetoric. Let's talk about some specific facts in this. Why did President Trump use his private attorney, Rudy Giuliani, and as we just reported, two other private lawyers to try to dig up dirt from the Ukrainian government on Joe Biden rather than going through his State Department? One of two things is true, Chris. Either the Ukrainian government or people associated with it possess real and actual knowledge of corrupt dealings by the Biden family, or they don't. If they do, is it not in the interest of all Americans to know what that is? I've asked you a specific question. I'd like a specific answer. Why did he use three private lawyers to get information on Biden from the uh, from the Ukrainian government rather than go through all of the agencies of his government? Two different points. Number one. I'm asking you a direct question. Why did the president use private attorneys rather than go to the State Department? If you don't know, that's an acceptable answer. There's two issues that were brought up I'm on the I'm not asking call. two issues. Why did he do it? And then, of course, there was the man formerly known as America's mayor, fact-checking himself on CNN with Chris Cuomo. But we'll leave that one for another day. What do you think? Email us, tweet us, share your thoughts. 